welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to my channel i am ashley elizabeth and this is my youtube channel today i have gone ott i have gone for green grungy dark sparkly can't think of any more adjectives is that the right word an adjective anyway yeah so today i thought i'd play around with a bit of color I am. Um, I've been playing it safe a little bit recently, using pinks and oranges and sort of warm tones. And I was like, "Hmm, 2018 is going to be the year." I challenge myself. I've got a mountain of sort of greeny eyeshadows. I've never used any of them, so I thought today, you know what? Let's go green. I've gone there. I've gone for this sort of lovely grungy eye makeup and some flawless skin using some new products. Made my return to sort of talky videos today. I haven't done one for the longest time. Um, I did film a couple client tutorials. Go check them out if you've not seen them already. And let me know if you like sort of them videos more than these type of videos or if you like them all the same and you're just happy to be here. But yeah, if you want to know how to achieve this look, then please stay tuned. Hello. So let me zoom you in. So as always, I'm gonna start with my brows and I'm gonna take my MAC um, brow crayon, brow, what is it? Eyebrow pencil anyway, in spiked. I'm just gonna lightly sketch out my brows. So I just like to start underneath the brow, creating a nice sharp line. And filling through that arch where I've got big gaps. And then extending the tail out. And then just the same on top, but on top I don't like to start like right here, I sort of start about a third of the way in and just fill through the top of the brow, creating more of an arch. So that's the basic outline of the brow and then just to fill through any gaps, I'm just going to dip into my sleek duo kit and just take a bit of the powder. I'm just dipping into a bit of the brow brush and just pulling that product up through the front of the brow to soften it out and then just anywhere there's sort of gaps. And once I'm happy with them, I'm going to take my NYX Brow Gel and just set them in place. Okay, time for eye base. And as always, I'm going to take my MAC Select Cover Up in the shade NW15 and just pop that all over the eyelid. I'm just patting over that just to make sure it's dried down and then I'm just going to take my little fluffy brush and just blend off that edge and now it is time for eyeshadow so clearly I've gone very bold today I decided to do something a little bit that's not me so no orange no warm tones I've gone for green and black. The first shade I'm going to take is the Melchior Cosmetics um, Single Shadow in Alien. I'm just going to press that shadow down. And then just going to lightly buff off that edge. Okay, next I'm just going to go into this shade here from my Morphe 35B palette and I'm going to use that as sort of a transition shade. So I'm just placing that down just slightly higher than Alien. So I'm just going to dip back into that Alien and just bring that back through the crease. Then I'm just going to take my Morphe 5, M507 and dip into that black shade from the Morphe 39A. And I'm just going to lightly run that right through the immediate crease just to deepen that up again slightly. Okay, for the lid, I'm going to go in with this Ola Masca, um sketch stick in Haze. I'm just going to darken up the lid. And 
So I'm just going to spritz my brush with a bit of Fix Plus. And I'm going to dip into this shade here from the um, Morphe 39A palette. And I'm just going to press that all over the lid where we've just put the black shade. Okay, and I'm not loving the green on its own like when I did this eye as well. So I'm going to dip into this shade from the Juvia's Place Magic palette. And I'm just going to press that over the top of that last shade just to darken it up a little bit. Then just to add a little something, something extra to the eye, I'm going to dip into that shade Yara from the Juvia's Place Magic palette and just pop that right in the centre of the lid. So while I just wait for my lashes to dry, I'll go ahead and do the under eye. So I'm going to take my Zoeva Graphic graphic eyes pencil and this is in black to earth this is a waterproof sort of gel type liner in a pencil form now i'm going to bring that down between the lashes as well then just taking this little pencil brush and just blending it out then I'm going to dip into that black shade from the Morphe 39A palette again and just set that in place. Then I'm just going to take a touch of Alien again and just press that on underneath. And lastly, I'm going to dip into Lucky Clover from the Morphe, uh, sorry, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Glow Kit. And I'm just going to pop that on my inner corner. Okay, so that is the eyes all done. I'm just going to pop on some mascaras and lashes and I'll be back for the face. So I've got a few new products that I want to give a try today. First up is this MAC Little Strobe Cream. I got this as a sample in uh, when I last went, in, went into MAC and made a little purchase. This is the Pink Light Strobe Cream. I've never used strobe cream, but I've been dying to give it a go. So I feel like I can relax now that my eyes are done. I always get so tense doing my eye makeup and I don't really talk much. So I'm just popping that strobe cream on all over the face just to create a nice glow to the skin. Now that we are all nice and glowy, so happy to have this foundation back in my life. I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation and I do have the shade Porcelain. If you're new here, then you probably don't know, but this is my holy grail foundation it is the bomb and i know it's a bit dark for me but i don't care i get the shade porcelain in the bone this way because i just can't face being any paler than i already am but i'm too lazy for fig tan so, so then i'm just going to take my sponge and blend all that out And for concealer, I'm finally going to try out the Revolution Conceal and Define. Now these have been everywhere lately because of the little mishap that everyone knows about with Tarte Shape Tape. So I decided to pick up a couple of these. I think I bought six different ones and they are really nice. I mean there is a difference to Tarte Shape Tape but I'm still enjoying it. For £4 as well that the coverage is unreal. The only thing I will say about this is I'm not a massive fan of the applicator. That's nothing really, is it? I'd still buy it and still use it. That's not going to put me off using something. But yeah, I saw that these are actually ex expanding the shade range to, I think it's 25 shades they're going to. I think they're on 18 now, which for drugstore is amazing. So there's not really any excuse for bigger brands and more expensive brands to not have an expanded shade range but they're moving to 25 shades i'm not 100 percent sure when that's coming when that's happening but for four pound and a little drugstore brand that is absolutely incredible other brands need to take note it's 2018 and how is that still happening 
like there's no like what i can't get my head around is how can people sit there in a boardroom and come up with ideas and then be like you know what that perfectly represents everyone in the world those 15 shades and those two those two or three dark shades will suit everyone with a darker skin tone that is absolutely appalling how anyone could sit and think that so i'm just blending out my concealer now under my eye with my little brush as always Is anybody actually going to buy the Tarte Shape Tape foundation after after what happened with the shades? I all I've seen videos about is you know obviously people aren't aren't buying it, they're not supporting it. But I was just curious to know if anyone actually is gonna go and buy it. I mean obviously my shade will be represented. I'll be able to pick about six different ones and I'll probably be able to wear them. But even if there weren't like a palaver with the shade rangers, the foundation just is quite underwhelming for me. From what I've seen on videos, I've seen quite a few different people test the foundation and I'm not blown away by it. Now when the concealer came out, well when I finally got my hands on the concealer and that was only a couple months ago, I was blown away by it. I mean I've not stopped using it since but from the foundation, the reviews I've seen, it just, it's not like, it's not full coverage, it's not, it's not something i'd go out and buy anyway so i have used this concealer before so this is not really my first thoughts on it but just to share with you the concealer is incredible it's the coverage is there the color is amazing i used c2 i don't know if i said that before my last favorite drugstore concealer was the collection i think it was last imperfection concealer that one was incredible this one is definitely better and for four pounds as well you can get three of them now you can get more than three of them. Twenty. You can get five of the Revolution Concealer for one Tarte Shape Tape. So I'm just going to go ahead and set my under eye using my RCMA Translucent Setting Powder. And just whatever's left on my sponge, I just like to press in the areas I tend to get more oily. So while that bakes, I'm going to bronze up. And I'm going to take my MAC Minimalized Skin Finish in Medium Tan. And I'm just going to use this Peaches and Cream PC03 brush. Definitely in 2018, I 100% want to grow my channel, do more with it, sort of branch out, try different things, like green eyeshadow. That's one of my goals. What are your guys' goals for the upcoming year? I'm just going to bake underneath where I've just popped that bronzer, just to sharpen it up a bit, Is using this Morphe highlight contour sponge. I'm just going to go ahead and contour slightly with this shade from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. And this, I'm just going to take that on this Morphe R13 and just deepen up that contour. So I'm just going to dust away that beak. I don't like to leave it very long underneath the contour line. I'm just going to pop on a touch of blush and I'm going to take a mixture of a few shades from this Morphe 9M blush palette. So at this point I am going to spritz my face with this Mario Badescu um, Rose Water Facial Spray. So I'm just going to... So of course I'm going to go in with my Nikki Tutorials X Ofra highlighter in glazed donut. This was well and still is one of my all-time favorite highlighters. I don't think I'll ever get anything that beats it. Ooh. Okay, then just to finish off this look, I'm gonna go ahead and do some lips. Now I did pick up some glosses, new glosses from Primark. Now I got Four, but I dropped one on the floor and I'm not prepared to go and pick it up. But I got these three. So I think I'm going to go with this one. I 
might give the lip topper a go and see what that looks like. If we don't like it, we can always wipe it off because, hey, it is only makeup. Oh, oh, can you see that on camera? It's actually sparkly. That just adds a nice sort of sparkle to the lips. Okay, so that is the finished look for today. I hope you enjoyed this video, doing something a little bit different, a little more colourful, a bit grungy. These are nice shadows. I don't usually tend to see people use... But yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to hit subscribe while you're down there and hit the little bell notification so you're notified whenever I make an upload. If you enjoyed this video, if you enjoy these types of videos or more like me client sort of makeup video like I did a few videos ago, let me know. But yeah, thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!